Come ride the little train that is rolling down the tracks to the junction. Forget about your kid, it is time to relax at the junction. Lots of curves, you bet, and even more when you get to the junction. Petticoat Junction. There's a little hotel called the Shady Rest at the junction. Petticoat Junction. It is run by Joe. Come and be his guest at the junction. Petticoat Junction. Here's a lady MD. She's as pretty as can be at the junction. Petticoat Junction. Understand you run the local newspaper. The Hooterville World Guardian. Sam, I'd like to take out an ad. Oh, fine. What'd you have in mind? Two inches? Four inches? Oh, no, a full page. Yes, sir. <laughs> Sit down, Mr. King. <laughs> what page do you want? Well, do I get a choice? You get two choices. Front or the back. <laughs> oh, the World Guardian's a four-pager this week. We're covering the finals of the Daffodil Tournament. It's very big this year. They ended in a tie and had to go into extra daffodils. <laughs> Could I help you design a layout? Oh, no, I've already done that. <laughs> you see here, I'm calling my distributorship King's Cars. Cars with a K. You get it? Oh, no. yeah. Oh, that, that's very clever. Pucho. Yeah, I suppose it is if you're getting a full-page ad for it. <laughs> you see what I'm doing for the opening? Oh, a contest for the prettiest girl in the valley. Yeah, that's right. To advertise my cars and to be known as King's Queen. You get it? I'm King and she'll be the queen. <laughs> I think it's swell. As a matter of fact, it's really Jack's King's Queen. How about that? Boy, say, that shows a lot of spade work. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Oh, so where are you going, Joe? Far away from you two jokers in the can. You get it? Jokers. You two cards. Oh, don't mind him. He was losing the checker game. Jack King never met a man he didn't like, because that man may turn out to be a customer. I want to tell you about the contest. For the grand prize... <laughs> Free trip to Los Angeles. Oh, yeah. I guess they mean Los Angeles, California. Yeah, I think that's the one. <laughs> hey, you know, Oral, this could be your big chance. My chance? Yeah, to enter Bobby Joe in the contest. Well, she is your girl, isn't she? Oh, my gosh. Steve, you, you just don't say something like that right out. <laughs> Do you, th do you think she is? Well, don't you? I don't know. I, I, I sure hope so, but I don't know. Well, I can't think of a better way to build up points. I mean, a girl has to think a lot of a guy who put her up for queen. Yeah, you know, this could be my big chance. You know, a girl's got to think an awful lot of a guy who put her up for queen. <laughs> it, it's an idea. Here goes. submit a picture of her in a bathing suit. So? Well, I can't ask her for a thing like that. Well, why not? She's your girl. And I barely know her. Maybe, maybe she doesn't have a picture of herself. Well, then why don't you take one of her? 
Yeah, but I don't, I don't, I don't have a camera. Well, they, they've got one up at the Shady Rest you could use. Steve, you keep closing the trap on me. I'm oh, sorry. No, don't be sorry. I like it. <laughs> Before we take our nap, your Aunt Billy Joel will sing you a nice, sweet song. How do you like that? Everywhere you go, critics. <laughs> Hi, darling. Hi. Billy's just putting Kathy Joe down for a nap. Good. I've got you all to myself. Stevie, not right here in the lobby. Why not? This is where we used to neck when we were dating. That was late at night. Oh, wait. <laughs> you nuts. Where have you been? Uh, in town. They got a new auto dealer. Mm, I heard. Orrin and I went down to have a look. Guy's got quite a contest going. I heard about that, too. Oh? Well, then you probably heard that they want guys to enter their best girl as queen. Mm-hmm. Want to know what I did? Well, tell me. I got Orrin to enter Bobby Joe. Orrin to enter Bobby Joe? Yeah, well, he'd have probably thought of it anyway. Orrin to enter Bobby Joe? You see, I thought I'd give him a little nudge in the right direction. Orrin to enter Bobby Joe? You keep saying that. Yes, I do. What about entering me? Honey, Orrin hardly knows you. Oh. Well, anyway, Betty Joe, this contest is for girls. Oh, well, is there something you haven't noticed? Well, of course not, but you're certainly not anybody's best girl. You're my wife. I mean, well, I don't think of you as a girl. I mean, no. I mean... No way I was going to win that one. Send in a description. Lauren, you know the rules. You have to send in a picture. Huh. Okay. Well, say cheese. <laughs> Forget it. Don't, don't, don't say anything. Here goes. Lauren, you have the camera upside down. <laughs> I'll be with you as soon as I can change. taking that picture of Bobby Joe? Forget it. Well, I couldn't do that. I just took her picture. You did? 
Yeah. And I'm going to get it developed, and then I'm dropping it off at the contest. Or why don't you just forget about entering Bobby Joe in the contest? Forget it? It was your idea, Steve. Oh, I know, but I just did that for laughs. <laughs> for laughs? Well, she sure didn't take it that way. She's very happy that I entered her. She is. Yeah, and, and when I took her picture? Look at that. <laughs> That's not so made a catcher, brother. Lauren, I, uh, I got a level with her. I just entered Betty Jo in the contest. Oh, you look very thoughtful of you, Steve. I bet she's really going to appreciate it. Don't you understand? And now the two sisters will be running against each other. Well, those are the fellow says, competition is the life of trade. <laughs> Look, Oren, this has got to lead to nothing but trouble. Now, if you if you knew the spot I was in, you'd be a good guy and withdraw Bobby Joe from the contest. How about it? Well. Oren, I'm waiting. Well, I, I, I don't know. <laughs> okay, here comes Uncle Joe. Now, how about if we leave it up to him? Do you agree to abide by his decision? Well, if I have to. Hi, fellas. Hi. Joe, there's something we want to ask you. Yeah, well, first get a load of this. I just entered Billy Joe in the Queen Contest. You what? what? I entered Billy Joe in Jack King's Queen Contest. Why? Why? She's a pretty girl, and that's what it's for. I think she'll win it. What was you wanted to ask me? Forget it. Where are you off to? I, I'll tell you all about it tonight. Hi, Billy Joe. Oh, hi, Uncle Joe. What's new? Oh, nothing much. I was just going over this new arrangement. Oh, good. Why don't you ask me what's new with me? Okay. What's new with you? I've just entered you in the queen contest. How about that? Yeah, how about that? Well, you don't seem to be very happy. Well, Uncle Joe, I, I appreciate your thoughtfulness and everything, but a girl being entered in a contest like this by her uncle, well, it's... It's like going to the senior prom with your brother. How would you know about a thing like that? You don't even have a brother. Well, what I mean is... Well, you're right. I, I guess I wouldn't know. Yeah, well, since your boyfriend's in Chicago, I thought, well, I... You felt sorry for me. Yeah, uh, no. Well, how did you get a picture of me in a bathing suit? Well, I was up in your room this morning turning the mattress. You actually turned the mattress in my room? I raised the center part so it wouldn't sag. <laughs> I happen to notice your picture lying there on the dresser. Uncle Joe, that was the picture I was going to send to Greg. No kidding. I thought you left it there short of a hint to get in the contest. Oh, no. Well, I guess I butched it again. No, you didn't butch anything. In fact, I'm very pleased that my favorite uncle thinks enough of me to enter me in the contest. Thanks. And you know something? We're going to win. Atta, girl. <laughs> <laughs> That's a break. I can sure use that new fishing rig. Uncle Joe. Huh? What was that about a new fishing rig? Oh. Come on. Well, the guy that submits a winning queen gets a whole new fishing outfit. <laughs> up that all three girls are entered in this queen contest. And the queens are wild. Well, if they aren't, they will be. You know, Doc, I was thinking, you're pretty good at this sort of thing. What sort of thing? Well, straightening out a mess like this. I thought maybe you could have a talk with the girls and, you know, appeal to their common sense. Why don't you do it? Well, the problem is that I'm rather close to the situation, and I think it calls for someone who could... Someone who could be objective and, and level with them. And besides, I'm chicken. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and so I'm sure you realize that keeping harmony among you sisters is far more important than winning a contest. Don't you agree? I agree. Oh, so do I. 
Oh, yeah, I agree, too. Well, now that you all agree, what do you think the next step should be? Well, if it'll help the situation, I'll drop out. Oh, I will, too. Gee, thanks. You're the best sisters a girl ever has. Oh, well, wait a minute. I'll Bradley's sisters proud. Bobby Joe, what right have you to stay in when we both agreed to drop out? There's no problem now. I'm the only one that's left. Besides, <laughs> I'm the most logical choice to enter. Oh, and just what makes you the most logical choice to enter? Yeah. Well, girls, we, we agreed that this would be an orderly conversation. <laughs> all right, we'll be orderly, but what makes her the logical choice to enter? Well, first of all, let's take Billy Joe. I'm afraid she wouldn't have much of a chance, because when you get up in years, you're... Up just... in years? What are you talking about? Yeah, and look at me. I'm younger than you are. <sighs> but you're an old married woman. An old married woman? <laughs> What I mean is... You don't know what you mean. Yeah, you're saying this, but so am I. Yeah, so am I. Yeah, we're going to see you. Yeah, we're going to see you. Congratulations. What for? For the queen contest you'll be winning. <laughs> the queen contest? I'm not even entered. Oh, yes, you are. Well, now, who would do a thing like that? <laughs> Sam Drucker, you didn't. Well, well, I know it's supposed to be a guy's best girl and all that. Oh, I'm not complaining about that. You're not? Well, hooray for me. <laughs> I think you're the prettiest... The sweetest, the most gorgeous. Sam. Oh, well, yeah, I guess this is a, not the place for that mushy stuff. <laughs> what I'm trying to tell you is that my entering only complicates things. I'm afraid you'll have to withdraw my entry. Well, I can't do it. It's already official. And I'd have written you up in the World Guardian. Besides, what's complicated about it? Well, all three Bradley sisters are already entered. So? <laughs> you should see the confusion that's caused. They're at each other's throats. Oh, come on. Three grown girls? I can't believe it. Well, you come on back to the Shady Rest for dinner and see for yourself. Well, I'll just take you up on that, best girlfriend. <laughs> Looks like they're already having dinner. Why do you say that? Well, Joe isn't snoozing on a porch swing. Well, that may be the only thing that saves us. What's that, Doc? Well, with the entire family gathered around the dinner table, perhaps they'll come to their senses and stop feuding. Yeah, that could do it. <laughs> I guess this wouldn't be a good time to announce I've entered you in the contest. <laughs> Get us a tray. <laughs> well, there she is. Yeah, this is the day I've hated to see coming. Wait a minute, let me look at that. What's the matter? Did I spell something wrong? Winner has two ends. I looked it up in the dictionary. To the finalists of the Queen contest, all coming from the Shady Rest, interest has soared to a new high. Now, how can you make a prediction like that? What prediction? That the finalists are all coming from the Shady Rest. Oh, they don't call me Scoop Drucker for nothing. I dug up that exclusive piece of news myself. Went right to the source, Jack King, and that's what he told me. But it was open to every female in the valley. Yeah, but is there any doubt in your mind that the prettiest ones live at the Shady Rest? No, that's for sure. <laughs> the only other girl who came close was Selma Plout's daughter, Henrietta. Henrietta? She couldn't win if Arnold the Pig was the only other contestant. <laughs> oh, that wasn't very nice. No, I guess I shouldn't have said it. 
Don't repeat it, Arnold. Come on, get your gear and let's go fishing. Fishing? When the winner's going to be announced this afternoon? Sam, you're not going to be there. Oh, I sure am. But this is full of dynamite. No matter who's elected, the sparks are going to fly, and I don't want to be around. Yeah, it's developed into quite a grudge fight. Oh, it's ridiculous. I've never seen such bickering. Yeah, it is kind of silly. Yeah, but that's women for you. Yeah, but when you think about it, the girls shouldn't be too sore when Doc Craig wins. Yeah, you're right. They shouldn't... What do you mean when Doc Craig wins? <laughs> Billy Joe's gonna win it. No, no, Joe, it's Doc Craig all the way. Says you, Billy Joe. Doc Craig. Billy Joe. Look, I'll bet you... This jar of cookies. I'll bet you this box of cigars. Well, I'll raise you... This cake. I'll raise you this kerosene lamp. And I'll raise you... Wait a second, what am I doing? This is all my stuff. I'm betting against myself. What are you trying to do, back out? No, I'm not trying to back out. Oh, get lost. Doc Craig. Billy Joe. Doc. <laughs> Gentlemen, it's about time for that big moment, naming Jack King's queen. <laughs> and since I'm a newcomer to this valley, I'd like to take this occasion to introduce myself. I'm Jack King, owner of King's Cars. Cars spelled with a K. And may I further add that it's fitting and proper that this contest should be called Jack King's Queen, because Jack King Queen is a street. And if you want a deal, you come to this old straight shooter, Jack King Queen. Uh, uh, Jack King. Oh, brother, even in an airplane they give you a paper sack. And now, for that announcement that we've all been waiting for, may I have the envelope, please? The winner from the Shady Rest Hotel is... Kathy Jo Elliott. What? We did it. We did it. You mean you entered her? Well, can you think of a better winner? Well, no. Me neither. <laughs> How about you? Well, it'd be hard for me to quarrel with that decision. <laughs> and I don't think either one of you are going to complain, are you? How can I complain? She's my niece. Well, she's my niece, too. Slightly removed. <laughs> How about bringing the queen up here so we can all see her? All right. And here she is, the grand prize winner. And get a shot of this record. <laughs> Janet offered to dress her. And the grand prize is an all-expense-paid trip. Which we'll take in the form of a scholarship in about uh, 16 years. Oh, fine, fine. <laughs> yes, sir? Uh, so this has been a wonderful contest and all, but uh, I thought that the rules called for a girl a little more like, um, well, like uh, uh, Bobby Joe and like them. <laughs> Uh, I mean, you see, the queen would have to spend an awful lot of time with me in advertising and promotion and such, so the official judge decided to make a change. What do you mean, the official judge? Who's that? Oh, you mean I haven't introduced you to the judge? Oh, <laughs> the official judge, folks, my wife, Myra. <laughs> Thank you. 
This Sunday, don't miss a double dose of star-studded Ed Sullivan music and variety with Emma Fitzgerald, Sammy Davis Jr., Tom Jones, Patty Duke, and knife throwers Elizabeth and Collins. Now that's variety on The Ed Sullivan Show, Sunday night at 8 o'clock Eastern, 5 Pacific, only on TV Land. Petticoat Junction.